When we finished off last time, I left you guys with style transfer, and we even finished off with some cool little tricks where we could combine two different styles into one image. Since then, Matteo has released another update to IP adapter that allows us to combine styles with compositions, something that he actually already had last time, but we didn't get to cover. This continues to give us an amazing number of options when it comes to creative freedom with IP adapter in Comfy UI. Options that we'll continue to explore today along with all of these other ideas. Before we jump in, if you checked out the last video and found value, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out. And without further ado, let's continue to explore what we can do with IP adapter. Let's get plugged in. We left off last time looking at style transfer. Since then, there have been a couple of small updates to the IP adapter node collection that might affect how you use style transfer with the IP adapter nodes. Very simply, if we remember on the last video, we used this image as a style reference. The weight type is no longer style transfer as the Excel. There's just a single style transfer and strong style transfer. If you use style transfer, it's the same as last time. But if you use strong style transfer, you can see the style is applied a little bit more aggressively to the image. Now, in addition to style transfer, you can also use an image to reference composition. And this is really interesting because it provides an alternative approach to providing elements of a composition that isn't as stringent as control net. Let's have a look. So this is a simpler workflow when compared to the style transfer one we were just looking at because we're just using a single image to reference composition. We can build complexity as the video goes on, but for now, let's just start with this. You'll note we have the reference image over here which feeds into the IP adapter with the weight type set to composition. Your prompts are up here, the K sampler is down here, and the rest of the nodes are pretty standard. We're gonna go ahead and grab this image as a reference. And we can see here the main elements are this wasteland-like environment with a person walking here on the left. And we're just gonna leave this prompt, woman, walking at the beach. We've set our weight type to composition. And I'm gonna do a little thing and change the embed scaling to K and V. I'll cover this in a later video, but I find that K plus V works especially well when doing compositions. And for the model here, I have Ghost Excel. Before we continue, you'll also note this little piece of noise here. I referenced this in the previous video where I'm just using the noise as a negative input just to provide a little more sharpness to the image and prevent any burning out. And Matteo has actually included a IP adapter noise node as well, just to help make that straightforward and easy. So if we look at the composition, what's really interesting is the IP adapter, unlike control net, takes key elements from the image that you're using as a reference without adhering to them too stringently, which gives the model a little bit of creative freedom in applying the concepts it's taking from the image. Even though we've got a bright day at the beach here, you'll notice that we've got a building or a pier up here on the right, which reflects this same building here on the right of the reference image. We've got a light pole here on the left, and that's reflected by a stick here and some other elements which are very reminiscent of the reference image. The only thing that isn't included is the massive tower at the back of the image. But for everything else, the overall composition and layout more or less mirrors the reference image that we provided. Let's try another one with this woman singing into the microphone. And we'll just change the prompt to woman singing at the beach to help it out. And you'll notice interestingly that the image is not an exact replica of the input image, but there are elements in the composition that are carried across. The microphone is there, the way the woman is holding the microphone is very similar, and the way that she's leaning into the microphone is very similar. So this is the power of the composition weight type with IP adapter. Look at it as a way to provide ideas to the model of what you want in terms of the composition while giving the model the freedom to figure out how to take that composition and make it work within the model that it's using. Especially if the model is struggling to provide a good quality image with control net. While the composition feature is pretty straightforward, now that we've covered both style and composition, one of the new introductions to the IP adapter node collection is a fun new little node called IP adapter style and composition as the Excel. And what this little node allows us to do is to take in two images, one as a style and one as a composition reference and combine the two. If you're finding this video helpful, please don't forget to like and subscribe. 
I just wanted to take a little break to remind you guys to check out our Patreon. Your support here makes an incredible difference in letting me run the channel. Thanks to my patrons, I'm able to put the time, energy, and effort into researching and making these videos. If you find these helpful at all, please consider supporting me on Patreon, as it makes a tremendous difference. Besides supporting me on Patreon, don't forget to like and subscribe, as it makes all the difference for the YouTube algorithm, and helps me get found by other users. Thanks, and I'll let you guys get back to the tutorial. And this can be incredibly useful because it allows us to iterate through various images, maintaining the same style while applying different compositions to the image. In this example here, I've already set up the IP adapter with style and composition. And all you need to do is grab the new node, attach a unified loader with a preset indicating the level of strength that you want. In this case, we're trying out the plus high strength. Load your model. In this case, I'm going to use Ghost Excel and load up your reference images. This workflow is set up to align with the inputs on the style and composition node. So style first and then composition at the bottom. For style, we're going to grab this image, which represents the fire of a thousand suns. And for composition, we're going to grab this image of a woman at a coffee shop that I had created before on Comfy. And you'll see how powerful this combination is because we can really apply styles to something as even as simple as this. The prompt is just a woman sitting in a coffee shop, matching up with what our composition is. And let's go ahead and queue it up. Great. And we can see here how the style is subtly applied to the image. The orange and black magma hues are applied throughout the image while maintaining a composition that's both workable and interesting. In fact, this coffee shop looks like it could come out of a fantasy universe. So combining the two can really bring out a tremendous amount of creative potential. Let's change the style reference so we can see how the composition is maintained as different styles are applied. This time, let's add the grungy image that we added in the last video. And once again, we can see the gray muted colors very strongly applied to the image while maintaining that same perspective and composition from the reference image. And let's try one more. I prepared here a necromancy image and see how that applies. And we can see here once again how it relies very strongly on the style while maintaining that same composition. What I might do in a later video if you guys are interested is we can combine this with face ID to see if we can create iterations of styles while maintaining composition and facial features. Regardless, I'm going to experiment it with myself and as usual, it'll be available first for my patrons. I hope you guys find the video useful. Don't forget to like and subscribe, especially if you want to stay up to date with what's happening with Comfy UI, Generative AI and other AI news in general. Thanks and I'll catch you guys in the next one.